I mix what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like. So in preparation in for my classes and we're, uh, the, the ongoing use of Josh Meyer's new book of Black Study, in which he has a chapter about Du Bois and hesitance and the, the revival of sorts of the true radical Du Bois, uh, talking a little bit about what has and has not been done in the hands of other scholars and talking about Du Bois and suppressing that radicalism. But I just came across, again, in preparation for the class, I had assigned uh, not only the readings, but to give students some familiarity and to let them hear Du Bois in his own voice, uh, I assigned the uh, video we're going to take a quick listen to, uh, in which he's talking about, that is Du Bois is talking in 1960, about the importance of socialism. Now, we're going to play, I'm only going to play a very short clip specific to my own argument around buying power, cooperatives, and et cetera. But in the context of explaining his own experience, uh, traveling the world and comparing capitalist economies to socialist economies and uh, considering what would be best for the condition of the so-called Negro, uh, long story short, Du Bois, even in his criticism of electoral politics here in the United States, says, listen, cooperatives collectives. I tried them. They don't work. And you're going to hear in his own words what he says is needed and why it doesn't work. But the short of it is, of course, is that we need socialism and all of these other band-aids and stop gaps are just that. Uh, and for my own argument, the problem becomes when those stop gaps and band-aids are elevated to revolutionary consciousness and political activity. That's where I think we are now. So let's just take a quick listen to, to Du Bois in his own words. And I think it's, it's as plain as day and why I wanted to bring it to our platform. To me, the obvious approach to socialism seemed consumers' cooperation. I tried to plan an organization among Negroes as consumers, which would furnish employment, help savings, and bring unity of action. But it was soon evident, as many of my fellow workers warned me from the beginning, that individual action alone could not bring consumers' cooperation, that without the power of the government, it would fall, it would fail, and with government cooperation, it was socialism. Message! And that's it. I'll put the link. You can hear the entire speech. Uh, put the link in the show description. You can listen to the entire speech at your convenience. But that was just, that's essentially the point right there. And as I've said, unfortunately, about the work of Dr. Jessica Gordon-Nemhard, uh, and others, uh, Dr. Amos Wilson and others who isolate that moment in the 30s and 40s where Du Bois, as he talked about there, flirted with the idea of cooperatives. They don't come back to acknowledge, as Du Bois did by 1960, having finally listened to the workers and others around him, that that doesn't work. And if you really want to appease or if you really want to appease radical notions and revolutionary notions of redistribution you have to have full state involvement programmed scientific redistribution or socialism i mix what i like what i like what i like what i like what i like